Well, we're going to get started here, and obviously, everybody that works with me on a daily basis, which is everybody here, um, knows how important and how special uh, this man is to me because I do talk about him an awful lot. Um, we could spend a 30-minute Zoom just talking about his entire accomplishments, and most of them have nothing to do with real estate. But, you know, when we do a lot of trainings, it really doesn't matter um, that we, we talk about real estate all the time because truly if, if our mindset is right and our passion is right and, our driv and we're driven, we can do anything we want to accomplish. And that's why having the privilege to have Austin join us is um, it's, it's kind of like a special treat for me because I look up to him in so many ways. Um, and I, I, I truly will not take any more of his time. I know he's on a tight schedule. He does has an amazing family he has to attend to and, and in a massive company he's the CEO of. So, Austin, I will give you the floor, buddy. Thank you. No, I appreciate you, Scott. I mean, uh, you know, you build me up to be 10 foot tall, but on a good day, I'm 5'9", you know. So, I mean, uh, all the kind words, I appreciate them, but I just got to give it back to you. You're doing all the right things to not only be a leader in the real estate profession, but just a thought leader, you know, a great mentor to others. And so uh, I really appreciate the kind words, my friend. How, how long do I have roughly? Well, truly, if it was up to me, Austin, I'd give you till about 10 o'clock tonight, but I know that's probably not the case. Okay, can I do like 15 minutes or so? You can do 20 minutes, buddy, no problem. Outstanding, well, I appreciate you guys uh, joining as well and uh, hopefully taking some notes. Uh, so, um, me personally, whenever I was thinking about what I wanted to speak on today and, you know, Scott gave me some ideas, uh, you know, I really got to thinking and something I feel that's lacking in today's world that was, it seemed to be more abundant just a generation or two ago, uh, something that's just so easy to cultivate that can absolutely change the dynamic of your entire being. And it's so simple is commitment. You know, think about it. It is an absolute tragedy. It's a tragedy anytime someone neglects his or her potential and misses many of the possibilities their life has to offer. I mean, nothing is more haunting, more naggingly malignant than the soul crushing phrase, what if, right? And most of you probably, because you're high achievers, have something in the past where you, you know, you're like, what if, what if I had taken that opportunity? What if I had been more persistent with that prospective real estate client? What if I, you know, I had just followed up. So looking back in old age on a life that was full of potential, you never took advantage of whether because of fear, procrastination, or just plain laziness, I mean, or a lack of direction or guidance, man, that's, that's rough right? Sorry to kind of take it down a dark path, you know, starting off, but on the flip side, you know, nothing fills a heart more full of joy. Better yet, nothing will prepare your spirit to leave this world completely fulfilled with a smile that sends you happily soaring to the gates of heaven than deservingly fulfilling phrases like, I gave it my best every day. I followed through. I delivered. I did it. I saw it through and my work here is done. You know, there's just something incredibly gratifying in knowing that the people around you know they can count on you because you follow through. You're a person of vision. You don't drop the ball. You know, you're a person of vision that stays the course and does what they set out to do. You know, a person of great commitment. A great ending begins with a commitment, beginning with the end in mind and following through, okay? So a commitment is defined as a goal stated with no alternative, all right? A goal stated with no alternative. Usually for the day and the week, I usually have a commitment and an objective, okay? My objective is it'd be really nice if I hit this goal. That's what I'm gonna go for. My commitment is, I don't come back until I get it. That's the goal. Come hell or high water, no matter what worst case scenario, you can count on me for my commitment. And I make sure that I have a commitment 
every day. Usually I have a commitment of, you know, this is what I'm going to produce above and beyond what's, what's on my, my calendar. I'm going to produce this by, by lunch and, you know, by, by the time I'm, I'm done with my day. So I usually have two commitments and two objectives for the day because I break mine down into, into halves. But um, a commitment is a goal stated with no alternative. I want to share with you a real quick personal story that may demonstrate commitment a little bit better. And then I want to give you three tips to help you with cultivating a commitment, making a commitment and following through. Okay, so years ago, right, when I was just a pup, when I was just a kid, I think I was uh, maybe 20, 21 years old. Um, I, um, I worked for combined insurance companies selling insurance door to door, store to store. Right. So I was going to people's homes, knocking on their door, you know, that sort of stuff, going to businesses and I'm a little guy. Right. So I was, I was, I was little enough to pick up and throw out of the business. Right. And so, uh, I was going for the highest award the company had to offer, which was called the grand diamond. And, um, you know, I'd, I'd hit every award on the way. I broke records. The Grand Diamond, though, was a, a very big test of, um, of endurance because it was a six-week uh, six award. So I remember sitting down with my uncle, who is actually a multiple Grand Diamond award winner, and uh, my uncle-in-law, I guess. He was married to my aunt. And... I remember telling him about my, my plans for, for, for achieving the grand diamond and, um, you know, mapping out my, my six weeks. I wanted to have it done in five weeks. And, um, he asked me a question. He said, what if you don't get it? He said, he said, what if you don't get the grand diamond? What if you don't get it? And the question itself, he might as well have been speaking like ancient Aramaic right? It didn't even make sense to me. It didn't even register that he was speaking the same language. Like the question may have well have been just been a bunch of words thrown together. It literally confused me because I didn't understand. There was no alternative reality in any dimension where I didn't get this award. I was committed I was going to get this award done in five weeks, not six, or I was going to die trying. The only thing that would have prevented me was debt. That is it. I'm telling you right now. And I remember I wrote, uh, it was, it was a 500 policies in six weeks is, is the award. I wrote 108 on a Monday, like my second week. I mean, I was out there, you know, like there was days I was out there for like 21 hours in a day. So my point is, when you're really committed, when you are truly committed, there is, you know, some people say in theory that there's infinite dimensions in the universe. There, if you're really committed, there's no possibility. There's no possible dimension where there's any other outcome than you succeeding at your goal. You know, I feel like a lot of folks see commitment as an event, something that's done in a moment, right? But the commitment doesn't end with your initial decision to head down a certain path or whatever. It's just getting started. And please, please believe me, ladies and gentlemen, please believe me that any time you make a commitment to do something, that commitment will be tested. Your resolve will be tested. That happens in different ways, whether it be experiencing failures, having to stand alone, getting faced with different disappointments, uh, spells of de depression or anxiety, uh, seeds of doubt, either that you're doing the right thing and, and you know, any other number of infinite things will come up along your journey. When things go wrong, when life gets rough, when the pain becomes almost unbearable, you will get tested again. Will you be able to keep going is the question. Abraham Lincoln said, always bear in mind that your own resolution to success is way more important than any other thing. Commitment, guys. And I'll, I'll, stay, I'll say that again because I love Lincoln's quote. Always bear in mind that your own resolution to success is more important than any other thing. So I want to give you these three tips to help you with, uh, you know, making the commitment and following through. Okay. So number one, 
decide to pay the price. And I, I want to define decide real quick. So decide is broken down into two words. I believe it's a, uh, uh, a uh, prefix day, meaning doubt and side, meaning to kill like homicide. So to decide literally means to kill doubt. Okay. So number one is decide to pay the price. There's always a price. You either pay the price for success now or pay the price for procrastination and failure for the remainder of your life. And that also affects not only your life, but everyone you care about's lives as well. Whenever you make those decisions, it either affects them for the good or the bad. So decide to pay the price daily. And I'm telling you right now, it's just getting the ball rolling that's difficult. Once you get the ball rolling and you establish a habit of winning, of consistency, of persistency, of doing the right activities, it's just, it just comes natural and it feels so good. And uh, number two is always strive for excellence. Howard Newton said, people forget how fast you did a job, but they remember how well you did it. I'll say that one more time. People forget how fast you did a job, but they remember how well you did it. And nothing, nothing will get the universe and everything in it conspiring for your greatness, shifting in the direction to deliver your success than an attitude of excellence, going the extra mile, doing a job to its fullest potential, and then some. Always strive for excellence. One of my early mentors was W. Clement Stone. He wrote the book, Belie or he actually didn't write this book. This book was written about his 17 success principles. The, uh, the book, Believe and Achieve by Samuel Seifert, as you can tell, I read this one you know, a couple of times. It's got notes in it and everything's falling apart. It used to be held together by a rubber band, but I just gave up on it. So going the extra mile is one of W. Clement Stone's 17 success principles. So it's, it's just, just doing a job to its fullest potential and then some. Doing something that no one else would do for your client, things like that. And number three, the third and final tip I'm going to give you um, to help with making a commitment and following through is tie in strong emotion and keep visual reminders. Okay, so tie in strong emotion and keep visual reminders. You got to know what you're, you're doing, but also why you're doing it. And that can be an evolving thing. You know, write notes to yourself to encourage yourself. Keep pictures and visual reminders around your workspace. Visualization is a very powerful tool. I could actually get into why that's a very powerful tool, but you know, you need to seek out personal development material that tells stories of people that are on a similar path, perhaps. Just keep the emotion you felt when you made the commitment fresh in your mind and heart at all times, okay? I um, usually first thing in the morning, well, always first thing in the morning uh, after I down a couple bottles of water and stretch and that sort of thing, I do my visualization and uh, I tie in higher emotion to whatever it is that I'm visualizing myself accomplishing. And so, you know, that's just, it's very important. Um, I'll wrap up by saying this, nothing is easier than saying words. Yeah, I'm gonna go out there and produce $2 million in real estate sales volume this month or whatever the case may be. Nothing is easier than just saying it. Nothing can be much harder, at least when you're first getting the momentum ball rolling, than living, living those words every single day. And so I'll wrap this up by just challenging you to make a strong, commitment to something you believe in today and know it may not be easy but it will totally be worth it when you're crossing that finish line and you can look around you and say that you're living your dream avoid the nagging phrase what if and the horrible feeling at the end of your life that you didn't live up to your potential make the commitment to always strive for excellence and decide Today is the day you do something about your dream life. Thank you. I'm pass it back to Scott. And and Scott, truly, you're muted. Truly, there you go. Truly, truly, truly appreciate you. Um, 
it's it's just like it's it's everything we go through Austin on a daily basis. We're challenged all the time. We're getting stuff thrown at us, um, especially in the real estate world. We have buyers that I'm pro providing the right documents. We have sellers that don't want to abide by our contract. So we're always being challenged. And um, I appreciate the three tips on trying to keep the commitment going, keeping our head high, striving, making these 30 day runs because they're so important, breaking your days down, breaking your months down. Because I know, and I believe with everybody here that if we broke down our months, we broke down our weeks and our days, by the time we hit the end of the year, we will have accomplished what we wanted to accomplish. And I am a believer that everybody on this line right now has everything in them possible to make it happen. I'm surrounded by superstars. I'm by, surrounded by great people. I appreciate every one of you. And I know without a doubt that everybody on this call right now can go out and achieve everything they want to achieve. But you, you need to challenge yourself, look in the mirror and say, today's the day I stop, I make the commitment and I move forward with my, with my commitments. So Austin, once again, brother, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I truly appreciate you. Everybody that's on the line, I did not break my Zoom record today, but I am going to pick a random winner today to take out to lunch at some point next week. I will let you know personally who that random winner is. Sabrina, I wish it could be you, but I don't know if I can get to Argentina in time, okay? Um, anyway, thank you so much. Austin, thank you. I hope Hello. you all have an amazing day today. I'm blessed, and I truly appreciate every one of you. Thank you so much. Bye.